Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Just want to do a little video today about uh, why it can be difficult, especially if you're starting out machinists. Uh, one of the pitfalls you can fall into with uh, cheap tools. So, as a background, I guess this was. I'm not even sure where I got this. It was either, it's probably come from Enco, but it may have been Shars, but I'm pretty sure this come from Enco back when they were in business. And this was a cheap, low buck, cheap import caliper. And it's been great. Uh, I've had this thing probably 20 years. It's very accurate. It would measure it uh, within a thousandth for sure every time. I didn't have to worry about the dimensions it was telling me. It was going to be within a thousandth or less of being exactly accurate. But unfortunately, uh, the uh, coolant flood on the big Monarch got into the screen on here and messed it up. And see, the numbers aren't right anymore. But, uh, this thing's been awesome. I've only put one battery in it in 20 years. And whether you leave it on or whatever, it doesn't matter. It uh, takes care of itself. So I was hoping to find another one of these. So a couple of months ago, there was one that looked like this in a sale on a Travers catalog, I think. And uh, so, hey, I'll pick up a couple of those because it looks like that was the same company that made this one. I've got the same kind of stuff on the back. So they're very similar looking, but not very similar performing. This one here is garbage. I'll show you here in a minute. So I got two of those. We're going to check them out. And then I got a 12 inch version, which looks like it has the same head unit on it, but uh, it's good. So, surprise. Let's, uh, delve into this a little more and I'll show you what I got going on. Okay, you don't need to see me so you won't. This is where the action is taking place. I've got my economy grade certified Wong Tong Fui uh, gauge block set. It even says economy right there. They give you some kind of values here for deviation. I'm not sure what those numbers are supposed to correspond to. If those are tenths or I assume they're microns, but I don't know. They could even be metric and these are English values. I'm really not certain. Couldn't really measure and decipher what they were referring to. But regardless, uh, these blocks should be pretty close. So we'll use this good one first as a test. Back to zero, so just pick a random block. It's 101. It says 101. 105. 105. 149. 50. Seventy. Inch. Inch. Two inch. Two inch. Four inch. Four inch, so 
I've taken these out to nine and it's still measuring within a thousand. So it's pretty good. It's a 50. Let's go back down to the bottom end. 50. So this one's good. Now let's check out this one. Looks like same reed head. 50, measures 55. It's 5,000 off. Hundred and one, hundred and two and a half, so a thousand and a half off. Hundred and six, measures hundred seven, one off. Hundred and ten, hundred ten and a half, that's real close. Uh, let's try one twenty, one nineteen and a half, that's right on. One twenty five, measure one twenty four, it's thousands off. One thirty. 128, thousand and a half off. Uh, was, man, there was a big problem in here around 140, I think it was. It's, yeah, it's 137 and a half on 140. 138 and a half on 141. 139 on 142. 140 on 143, three thou off. 141 on 144, still three thou off. 142 on 145, over 3,000 off. 143 on 146. 145 on 148. 147 on 150. 200 right back on. So there's like, right in there around that 140 mark, it's really bad. Uh, 400 401, 547 on 550, 702, 2,000 off, 1 off at 2, 1 off at 4. I wonder if it's incremental. So if it's 145 measures bad. Again at an inch. Close 144. Forty-one and a half, soft three thou right there. So, if a guy was using these, and this was his only form of measurement, uh, you could do work on the lathe or mill or something. And the way I realized this was I hadn't checked these that close. I'd just kind of done a couple of one-inch checks, and it was within a thousand. So. And realized that it had an error in it until I had made a cut on something and I measured it again and it didn't change. And I was like, uh, no way, because I saw material coming off, so I know the size has changed. So I went and got another, uh, got my micrometer and measured it, and it was off five thousandths from what this was reading. So I was like, that is no good. So these have to go in the trash can. Good thing they were on sale for $19.99 because that's $20 more than they're worth. It says here the repeatability is 0.01 millimeters. So they'll repeatably read wrong, I guess. There's no actual value for what the accuracy is. This is the exact same set. Like I said, I bought two of them. Let's see how this one reads. 
fit these right on. Mm. Hundred. I'm gonna raise good. One, one. Right there. One five. Good. One ten. Good. One fifteen. Good. One nineteen. Good. One twenty four. Good. One twenty six. Good. One thirty. Good. One thirty two. Good. One thirty six. Good. Thirty nine. Good. Forty five. Good. One fifty. Good. Two hundred. Good. Three fifty. Yeah, I'm the wrong way. Yep, half, kind of half thou. 400. Good. 500. Good. 600. Good. 700. Good. 95. Good. Inch. Good. Two inch. Good. Three inch. Good. Four inch. Yep, it's within one anyway. Half really. Longer lengths are harder to measure. Just do an inch forty six. Yep, it's good. Two inches fifty five. That's good. Five fifty. So it's not that one was just effective. It's not necessarily the brand because this is the exact same one and it appears to count fine. So guess you win some, you lose some. Well, I hope that was somewhat enlightening. Uh, Paul, it's uh, definitely a good idea to check your measuring tools from time to time. That's the reason why they have certifications on stuff is to catch things like this. But with the low buck cheap tools, uh, there's really no inspections. I mean, Chief Inspector 175 checked this out, but uh, to me, I would have scrapped it. But I guess to him, it says it conforms to the applicable standards, which I guess there must not be any standards for what the measuring criteria is for a caliper. I guess they can read whether they want to. That's why a lot of people call them guesstimators, but you know, to, for most work, a good set, like I said, ones that read within a thousandths every time are excellent fast measuring tools for doing the vast majority of work that I would do, uh, you know, there's some things you do where you need to measure to beyond a thousandths for accuracy, but 
many jobs are you know plus or minus five thousandths tolerance so there's no need you know if you can measure within one uh, you're going to know your number and easily hit your five thousandths tolerance but you got to be able to trust your tools so something like this cheap gauge block set you know, that you can use to go through the range and measure and verify because you know if you were just doing a one inch standards on this it wouldn't show up that it was bad you have to test it in multiple locations to see that it's actually bad but it'll certainly run your work so be careful with those cheap import tools i'm sure there's american tools that had suffer from the same fates but i think in general they're uh paid slightly more attention to when they go through quality control so maybe they would have caught that one that was reading bad before they sent it out or maybe not but it's up to you i guess is the end consumer to verify what you're getting thanks for watching thanks for subscribing i'll catch y'all later